But says the Lord, people are lying about me. You are jive talking, telling lies on me. You people talking about the rapture, you have no kind of clue. Do you know there's resurrection songs that talk about the end times, about the resurrection? What are the watchmen to be singing? Are you singing them? No, you are not. Seven songs. Start singing them. Isaiah 26, Ezekiel 37, Deuteronomy 32, Zechariah, Zephaniah 3, Isaiah 66, and a couple more. So, so when you get finished singing those every day, you might be able to start seeing. He showed me and my partner, John, to uh, sing whole chapters of scripture. And we did word studies and sang them over and over and over. I mean, I, I listened to them like 100, 200 times, the book of Revelation, like in a couple of months. And it was like, wow, these are all like different parables of the same thing. There's seven parables in there about the resurrection. And um, then the wrath of God comes. So, yeah, people saying there's a rapture, there's no rapture, the rapture's first. No, you're all wrong. You're all wrong. Okay, the rapture happens. When the watchmen sing, they will see eye to eye. Then the Lord will bring us, deliver us. When you sing the songs we bring. That's what he says. No no way around it. All right? Whoever's singing is on the right boat. All right. So uh, you have seals. Do you have your seals? Do you know what your seals are? No, you do not. You do not have any clue about your seals. Because I haven't seen anybody knowing it. And then, what else? Do you know about the white horseman? No. A bunch of people lying about the white horseman. About the horsemen. You think they're evil. They are not evil. Um, about the two witnesses. You think they come from some other church? What kind of church do you think they measure? What kind of temple is the tabernacle of God? I thought it was with men. Oopsie. We went to the wrong church to measure. We've been going around YouTube. Going around churches. Looking around. Looking for God's people. Trying to call them to come. Who's out? We're supposed to be gathering and measuring and getting dressed. That's supposed to be some other temple. What is that? And where are they? They are nobody. There's not anybody else. It's you. Uh, yeah, most of y'all kick us out. That's what Matt says in Matthew 22. You'll kick us out. Uh, yeah, eventually kill us, right? <laughs> A bunch of little juices doing that, kicking us out. Um, you know you little juices. You didn't even talk to us. You didn't even tell us our fault. You didn't even... And there is no fault in the word of the Lord. There's no fault in what he says. Even if he says the word ass, that's a hundred times in the Bible. He can say ass all he wants to. My goodness, people. Ass is a donkey. It's a part of the body. The ass is a parable, a story about the two witnesses. And you guys want him to be two men. You want him to be two stuffy old men. You want, man, you are not going to get, he's, he chose the weak things of the world, shame the wise. He sent a woman and a child to bring you home. And they are not what you expect. There's jokes about them, funny songs about them. There's funny stories about them written in the Holy Bible. And they, we post them. We came in with jokes. We said, here, we got some anointing oil, anointed with gladness. People go, well, you didn't laugh. You didn't get it. Some people got it. But if you take the jokes and listen to them, receive them, you will get anointed with oil of gladness. If you don't, you're going to be like suffering because laughter is good like a medicine. He wants to give you medicine and get you strengthened. So he gave us gifts to help you guys out. He gave us songs, um, a bunch of 144,000 songs. The little book, John 8, uh, it's like an end times welcome packet, condensed um, stories and condensed and amplified and um, songs and children's stories and funny page. It's like a whole end time newsletter. Fantastic new wine. And none of y'all want it, do you? None of y'all want it. You, a few rare jewels. So man, you guys are going to be left. Going to have some, some hurting. You need to get equipped. I mean, people have been kicking us out. And it is not right. <laughs> We got kicked out for rhinoceros rapture, for saying you need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. We got kicked out for um, for posting songs, for posting jokes. People don't like Jesus' jokes. 
If you don't like his jokes, you don't even know God. If you don't like his servants, you even know God. If you don't receive the one he sent, it might look different than you expect. Because, you know, you might entertain a handless person. It may be an angel. It might be, he might appear in a donkey. He said, I'm coming like a thief. He sent his insides like a thief. We're in disguise as a donkey. We're God's asshole. He gave us fire, literal fire comes out of our mouth. He said, go sing this fire for me. And I sing it. We sang it for two years, lit all kinds of fires. There was cold scripture, snow and ice songs. We sang them for since December, man. It was a long winter. There's going to be more of it too. And, uh, yeah, the fire whirlwind songs we sing. Where's all these fires coming from? You think it's mankind? He will use evil brutes. Yeah, that's what it says in the word. He says he'll use it from evil brutes. He'll turn you over to evil brutes. That's what happened in Maui. He said a fire whirlwind. It may come from man. He turned those weapons of warfare right back on the enemy. He said evil brutes to block the way. That was awful. That was Sodom. That was that was Sodom and Gomorrah. That was uh, Pompeii. They had was no escape. Some of them did escape. Thank God. But it's going to be more of that. So, yeah, people need to get on the board of the boat. There is a boat. There is a resurrection. Um, there is a protection for God's people. And, uh, yeah, some of us are going to get our heads cut off. I know we will. That's like something we volunteered for. And um, it, I don't know if you'll get it if you didn't volunteer for it. It's like uh, an option, maybe. I don't know. I don't even think it was an option for me. I just said, let me die. So many times I said, okay, I will. I'll use it because I had some scripture to fulfill. Let me let you die. <laughs> so, yeah, I wanted to die so many times. Prophets suffer, right? Like Jeremiah, like Isaiah. They're like, let me die. Job said, why was I even born? Why don't I just hang myself? He did. I wish I was hanged. He did. I did too. Prophets suffer. I didn't even know I was a prophet. I was suffering like blind. I got blindfolded. I said, man, what is all this, Lord? It's so bad. He had me locked up in a garden of pain for, for 40 years. And uh, I suffered and cried and was sick. I was born sick. Came and healed me of 20 illnesses. Call my name. Gave me a thousand sweet new names. Man, they are brilliant. I get those names from singing in tongues and they translate them with search on the computer. They're pure Ruben Snow language. Those are my new names. They're fantastic. 27 whole pages of them. And man, I can't believe my people hate me. so. They hate Jesus so bad. They hate me. They hate the one he sent. That is so wrong, you guys. He prepared all this stuff. He, we send us out with the, the stories, children's stories, rhinoceros rapture and jokes and how to fill, get filled with the Holy Spirit. And then people started kicking us out. And he sent us out with uh, saying the animals go to heaven because they do. Um, there's verses in the Bible, Hosea 2, 14 and 19, about a singing woman pet prophet and, and an end times covenant with the animals. Uh, who is that woman? Who could that be? And there's like a, verses about a woman giving dominion, um, a woman daredevil, a woman with a foot, her heel, in Genesis, and her seed. That's the two witnesses. Trust the head of Satan. You want him to be let loose? No, you do not. Do you? You do not. He will be let loose. I don't know. We might have to do it. I don't even know how. why we're going to do that. Oh, Lord have mercy. But, uh, yeah, the guys are <laughs> so messed up. I don't even know what to do with you guys. And, like, he's throwing me a bunch of children with their wide eyes, just running around, pulling each other's hair, biting each other, devouring, lying, tattling on each other, um, beating up each other, uh, Throwing tantrum, what in somebody else's spot? What? I want to sit in this spot in the car. I get this place. I get this place. Oh, this is my place. You are gonna move to the latrines if you're gonna be like that. You're gonna eat in the latrines. You understand that? Now he anointed me. He sent Jeremiah and Isaiah and Ezekiel to anoint me. I'm the baddest ass 
prophetized ever. The whole earth is going to hate me. And my own people even. You think you want me? You thought so. You thought I was coming for somebody else. No. What does God want? He doesn't want somebody else. He wants his own people. Wow. This is so messed up, people. You're all confused and deluded, poor, blind, and naked. Need some eyes salve. Listen and come to me. Hear and your soul shall live. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Return unto the Lord, for our God will abundantly pardon. For his ways are not our ways, neither are our thoughts his thoughts. Says the Lord our God. Thus says the Lord, people. Quit saying, thus say the Lord, not preach the word of God. You are lying. You don't even have the word to back you up. You're saying the rapture is before this, before that. Ain't no what happened before that. There's a lot of stuff got to happen before that. The resurrection comes in the middle. In the middle of the week. And there's more than one harvest. There's two at least. And he could have 50 raptures if he want to. He's going to send 144,000 back on swift feast. What are they going to do? We don't even know. He didn't write it all out. They're going to come back and, and have creative powers. And be able to resurrect things. And, and light fires. And do everything the two witnesses do right now. We're trying to get them equipped. They're going to be some of the dead in Christ. Must be because... They already sing the songs. And they, Isaiah, Ezekiel 37 says, uh, The dead in Christ will rise and become a great and mighty army for the Lord. Where are they? They're coming. So uh, you want to be a part of that? Or you want to run with the horsemen? If you, if you can't keep up with the footmen, you cannot run with the horsemen. The two witnesses are horsemen. Horsemen. 